Hello everybody, I'm Drew, I'm that frog guy, and today we're coming at you with the August and September Reptile Room. I know I was supposed to do more videos this summer, but, you know, it was the summer, I kind of took it off. So, we're going to do an entire Reptile Room video, I'm going to try a little bit of a new format, so we'll see how this goes. So please, like, subscribe. If you don't know who I am and don't know how you got here, well, subscribe anyways. But I got a lot of new stuff to show you guys, so let's get started. Okay guys, today we're going to start with the newest additions to the Reptile Room. Here we have our newest beta. What are you looking at? I have not named this guy yet. Um, he's kind of a little uh, little special. He just put his head in the sand. Um, he is a, I believe, a clown. Uh, pl placat beta, for the beta people. <laughs> and sorry the glass is a little dirty. This is how the planet tank looks after a little while. It's still taking a while to grow in all that grass. But uh, yeah, it's a little five gallon beta tank. And uh, next to it we got Chromium, who is just pissed. Pissed that I added another beta. He doesn't even want to come over and say hello. Come on. Come on. Um, this guy doesn't even care. He is all about trying to eat whatever he can. But I love his coloration. I'm excited to see how he transforms in the future. Get out of the dirty corner. Come on. Come on. Oh well. Um, we're going to jump down to my 2.5 gallon tank that I want to take to work eventually. And right now we have a tiny little baby clown in here, which I have not named either. And you can see he's got a little bit of a split pattern there, which is kind of cool. I kind of like it. Oh, now you come out to say hello. But as soon as I stop, as soon as I stop ignoring you, <laughs> he's a funny little guy. One of his eyes is a little more blue than the other. Um, but yeah, this guy's a little clown. He's in a 2.5 gallon tank. I do not recommend keeping a clown in this small of a tank. Um, but I just wanted to throw it in here and show you guys. Uh, he's gonna grow out in this tank a little bit bigger, and then he's gonna move into a bigger tank. But right now. Um, He's doing pretty good. Something happened with my Xenia. Looks like something's been chewing on it. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. I'm gonna throw that back in a different tank. Um, but we're gonna continue around the rack. Down here we have more cherry shrimp. This is just a big cherry shrimp tank you can see here. Um, it's a little 10 gallon tank with a hang on back filter. I flipped that tree upside down that was in this other tank for a while and uh, it's letting a little more light, a little more... I still have all that. I cannot get rid of that carnivorous plant no matter where I go. They eat all my baby shrimps. Um, but this tank's doing pretty good. The moss is really growing nice. Um, but we'll jump up to this other tank, which you can see all of the uh, duckweed has like blown into the moss and now is like sticking to it. This is also a shrimp tank, um, though they're a lot more hidden in this one. There's some. Um, they're all over in the moss, but they seem to do better down in this different substrate, so, and with more wood. So I'm thinking I will definitely add more wood to my tanks for shrimp. Sure. We're going to continue upwards. We already did chromium, who is also a beta. We're going to talk about our mud minnow here. This is E.T., the mud minnow, who looks like he's wearing that snail as a hat. Come on, say hello. Come on. You're slower than a snail. Come on out. Come on. Come on. You see in my finger. Come on. You're not falling for it. It's not a worm or pellets. We're going to move our way this way to see uh, this tank here is my little, this is my, one of my saltwater tanks. This is just housing the bad guys. This is, um, why am I forgetting his name? Bandit, this is Bandit. He is a four striped damselfish. Um, super mean, he's over five years old. We also have a big old hermit down here named Mr. Krabs. He is a scarlet-legged hermit crab, and there's some coral. I finally got some coral growing in this tank from all the little P 
pieces that have been spit off. I move the uh, sea urchin back to the other tank, and we'll get back to that one eventually. But we'll move over to here, because Tortellini's out. This is Tortellini. He's our African spur-thighed tortoise in his large enclosure. He is liking it. I'll show you how big he is compared to my hand. He is growing like crazy since I moved him into there. Grew some, uh, or my own, uh, what do they call it, romaine this year. It's kind of tiny, but it works. Um, we're going to hop over here to the fire belly toad sinks because they're all out and about. I just fed them all to get them all to come out. Got four there. Got like four more hiding over here. And there's plenty of more just, just in this tank everywhere. But that's where I threw the food. That's where they're kind of hanging out. Um, well, I guess there's five here. I didn't see you. They're a lot less afraid of me um, as they get bigger and more poisonous. They are technically poisonous, so don't eat a fire belly toad. I'll tell you that right now. Um, we'll move our way over here to get Trog, which has moved up. It's daytime, he does not like daytime, he is kind of just sleeping. Um, he is in a 20 gallon tank now, and with a little more water level. I need to actually raise his water up, it's down about a half inch or so. Um, he is a giant pixie frog, well, she or he or it could be. I'm guessing by he hasn't grown much, so I moved him out of that 10 gallon tank, which I haven't tore, tore down yet, but he was. Just to see if you grow a little more, and eh, it's about the same. We'll jump down to the spring peepers, which I know are in here. I saw them earlier. Um, hello. 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 Well, I just saw one move down here, but uh, I cleaned the glass this morning, and because uh, you couldn't even see through the side at all, and it's... They're still gone. I don't know where they're at. They're in here. If I get some B footage, I'll stick it in here. Or B-roll. We'll jump across the back this way again. And we got our, uh... What do they call them? This is my Hawaiian Aratus tank. It's a 30 gallon long tank. With a big old light on here. I just cleaned the glass. They were out earlier. And I think they were actually chirping. We'll jump back over to this side. Um, I did just feed them, so they should be out and moving around, but, well, if I get some more B-roll or B-footage of them just about, I will put that in here as well. Still don't have a good computer, so we'll see if I can actually put any of this footage together. <laughs> uh, but I needed to do a video for you guys, it's been a long time. Uh, we'll jump down here to B, Beatrix or Bernard or whatever B stands for in your head. Um, she slash he is a painted turtle and she likes to bite my finger come on do it on camera do it on camera you guys can see she's getting pretty big painted belly she's mad she's mad focus focus camera mad what are you seeing <laughs> okay I'll let you go she is in a 40 gallon tub that used to be Tortellini's house and she's enjoying it. So there's a little bit of protein water on top that just not enough water agitation going on right now. Because my sticks and stuff have all piled right by the water source. Get this down a little better. Oh. Suction cups came free, that's half the problem. Uh, we'll deal with that later. Um, we're gonna move back over to the frog racks. Here we have our Santa Isabella's. Um, we'll see if we can see any. I just fed them too, but they're always so hidey. Oh, <laughs> you can see my reflection of my shirt. It's kind of funny. Hopefully, you can read it backwards. I have disrupt. I have no where I have just reptile dysfunction, but let's see if we see one back there. Yeah, there's one. Oop. Hit a tree. They're so fast sometimes. There you guys go. There's four of them in here, and that's just one of them. That's the biggest one. Um, the other ones are like half her size. They're calling right now. I don't know where which one calls, but they like to call a lot. Um, we're moving over to the next rack, and here we have 
Scully and Mulder. Scully's in this tank, and Mulder's in this tank, which Mulder is out. So we'll start with him. Of course, my shirt's gonna block, destroy the shot. Uh, Mulder is a Rantiomea Intimidator Intermedius. Tongueful, mouthful. Um, he, well, he is actually a she, um, got separated from the other she, which is Scully, and named after the famous duo, but she is in here somewhere. I should tell you a story, they, uh, <laughs> oh, they both escaped on me. It was bad. Um, actually, I think he escaped one other time before, but... Scully escaped and I was chasing her back and forth underneath the racks trying to catch her. Oh my god, it was the worst. I thought she was going to die and I'd never see her again and she'd dry up, but she, uh, it happened just kept coming back down and I kept spraying the floor so she wouldn't dry out. And I saw her hopping around and I netted her with a fishnet. So, <laughs> good thing I had those sitting around. I don't think I'd ever caught her otherwise. But we'll, we'll jump down to Blue or Babe. Come on, focus. Come on, focus. Babe is a Azurius dart frog, named by the color. But come on, um, Dendrobates tinctoris Azurius, I think is what it's called. Um, very curious, very very blue. Love the color of this frog. Um, thinks I'm feeding him again, or her. I guess it could be either or. I haven't had a good look at the, the toes, but we're going to jump up here since I see one. Here we have a gray tree frog, a little belly shot. Um, they are just eating, eating, eating. There's another one in here somewhere. Oh, there he is. One's more green, one's more gray. They're the same frog. Um, I was going to have nice tags made up for today, but... Oh, I got so sick a couple weeks ago, I just had no energy, and now it's... Finally time to do some film. Look at that yellow leg. Show me some leg, buddy. Look at how yellow that leg is. Sorry, the glass is dirty here. Of course they always, they are the reason the glass is dirty. It's not dirty over here. They just like to climb all over this glass and make it nice and dirty. They will be getting an upgrade. Oh, I'm not focusing anymore. <laughs> um, we're gonna jump back down to the toads. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Actually, Littlefoot and I don't remember what we named the other one. I don't think we ever did come up with the name. But they are fat and chubby. You can see just how pretty they are. They're actually really pretty animals. They're really chubby though. They're going to get an upgrade eventually too. Um, let's see if you can see the deformed hand there. Just barely. It's looking pretty good. Got one toe left on that foot. Luckily we uh, neosporined it out and saved him. I wouldn't want him, he would have probably gotten an infection and died, and I'm so happy he's doing pretty good, along with his buddy, tank mate. We're going to hop over to my other dark frogs, the powder blues, or powder grays, I guess. It could be either or. They're essentially the same frog, slightly different color. Um, one is named Taddeus, and the other one is named Tatalina, even though I don't know if they're both males, because I don't see any calling. Um, they're definitely not females because they would have killed each other by now. You can tell by how wide those toes, I'm pretty sure he's male. I'm thinking this one might be female just by the different size and toes. I'm a lot smaller. Um, still looking for food. This is my hex build that was in one of my other videos. You guys can take a look at that if you want to, if you're still tuned in at this point. Um, we're going to keep rotating around to my hogno snake for you snake people. Um, come on out. Show you what I'm doing. Come on out. This is how I let her know that food's coming, so I'm kind of being mean. Um, she is a western hognose snake. Her name is Medusa. And uh, she is a glutton. Just want to show you how big she is. Come on out. Come on out. Come on. Oh, my finger looks like a pinky. Oh, here we go. This is what you want. This is what you want. Actually, she's on fuzzies now. Even though she probably could take a small mouse. Um, 
she'll come out and we'll get some cool footage of her in a little bit. We're gonna hop up to Casey. Hey Casey! Why is your glass so dirty? You don't even hardly ever come out of that log. Now my shirt's in the shot again. Note to self, wear pure black shirts for filling. That is Casey. This is his 10 gallon little here. He is a East African spiny tailed lizard. His light's a little far back. Let's move you forward. I had some melting up there happen from a while ago and I don't want to continue that. Khaleesi, oh Khaleesi, right. Okay, for who, those who have bearded dragons will understand our pain. Um, here's Khaleesi. She is a beautiful girl, isn't she? And that's her poop. She just took it. She just took it. I wasn't even over here to film yet and you ruined your tank. And now you want food. You're sitting in your food dish. At least you didn't poop in your food dish. But you pooped on a rock. I can't even scoop it easy. Why, Khaleesi? But Khaleesi is a bearded dragon. And as you guys can see, they are messy, messy, messy. They have a pretty short intestinal tract, so they poop a lot. But we're gonna turn a light on so we can see uh, uh, Cersei, our big old ball, pinstripe ball python. She is getting massive. She's in a 40 gallon, whoop, almost tripped over a water tank, water jug for giving the tortoise a bath. Um, <laughs> she's doing pretty good. She's been, she ate her first bird the other day. Oh, she heard me say food. Even though I don't think snakes have ears, they could feel vibrations. But she wants food, she's always hungry. Um, I believe she's getting ready to get put on some mating weight. And uh, yeah, she's going to, we might, we might try to breed her, I don't think we will. But uh, she is definitely putting on some weight. So we'll see. Turn this, well, I'm gonna move down to Alfredo, who was on a hunger strike for a little while. There he is, there's his head. He is a, the male uh, ball python, you can tell. He's much older than her and he's much smaller. Um, he is an albino, and for the life of me, I can't get a good shot of him. So, uh, hopefully, I'll have some B roll, but he. He's, there, he's doing pretty good, but he was on a hunger strike for a while. He hates rats now, apparently, and he wants only mice. Whew, I'm boiling in here, by the way. It, I keep it... Walk over. That one's set to kick on at 75, but this one actually shows you the temperature in here. Um, yeah, it's a little hot. I'm sweating. Whew. We'll just continue around back over this way. Um, here we have Freddy. Freddy is a African clawed frog. I can find him. Completely aquatic. He is really old. I think I say that in every video. Um, he eats these tiny little pellets here. And I'm gonna do a nice feeding video for you guys. Ooh. You can show you how much work it is to feed everybody in here. I'm not really focusing on, just so you guys know, any of the empty tanks. Which, yes, that one's empty over there now. Um, but we're gonna jump over to this tank. The frogfish tank. One of the first tanks I set up down in this room. Whoop. I'm dropping my... <laughs> uh, come here. Get this back on. This new phone does not record very well. I like how the reflection of the, fro the tortoise tank just ruins all of my shots now. But he... This is Pennywise. He is a... Uh, wart skinned frog fish. Um, this is his domain. He is by himself. Always hungry. Always hungry. Um, there's some shrimp in here right now. Um, he'll chomp them up. That's why he's got his lure out. You can see that thing floating in front of him. He's fishing. Man after my own heart. Or girl, I guess. Um, and then we got a starfish here in the corner, which was out this morning. For once, I hardly ever see this guy move in. Um, I should tell you guys, I have a little uh, salt creep issue going on here. Pull that off, you can kind of see it. A little bit, it's kind of sealed itself up a nice a little bit, but I need to do some silicone work at some point, because this overflow likes to, likes to leak, I think, right in this area. Um, just slow drippage, but slow enough to change my salinity. Um, but we're gonna move on get some coral shots I'm not trying to rush this video, but 
I am boiling. Um, we're gonna move over to this area here. This is my 30 gallon planted aquarium. It is very discolored and I really need to add some carbon to kind of color it back up. In here we have neon tetras. We have zebra danios. And there is a Placosimus in here somewhere. And there is some Autosynclus cats in here. And there's some snails. And some cherry shrimps. There's all sorts of stuff in this tank. Um, I might want to add, I was thinking of what kind of fish to add to this tank, because it just needs something bigger, like an angelfish, maybe a pair of angelfish. Oh, there's an auto. Auto cat. Oh, that. Should probably take that off. It looks a little better. On? Off. On? Off. Yeah, there you go. It's not so bad. It looks a lot worse to the camera with that on there, but yeah. This is a 30 gallon tank, just a hang on back filter, nothing special. And now on to my project tank that I'm having good and bad luck with. This is my 40 gallon cube. I made a mesh top for those of you guys who like that kind of stuff. And we have some new hard corals in here which aren't doing the greatest. Um, but you can see I have a major algae issue going on and I've been fighting it for a couple weeks now. Well, pretty much since uh, since the beginning of July I've been fighting this algae issue. But we'll do a quick overview of the corals. Everything's doing okay, not great. Um, it's nutrient issues. I have to move corals around and clean the plugs because the... Uh, there's something going on. I think I've gotten it under control, whatever it was, and now it's just kind of recovering the tank. Um, but the coolest thing, down here in the sump, I discovered a baby who somehow made it through that, down through the tube, into this section, and then somehow went over the top into my little area. Now it has grown to that size and is eating little refugium bugs. Um, he's grown since I saw him a week ago, and uh, once he gets big enough, he might move either in with the clown or probably in with his parents in this tank. Um, but that is pretty much all the tanks in the reptile room. So, I'm Drew, I'm that frog, I am boiling right now. We'll just quick walk around. And uh, I'm hoping that's enough to sate your hunger of what's going on in my room lately. Um, we'll definitely do some more videos here soon. I kind of would love to do more filming. Oh, I saw orange color, but it wasn't her. That one's really nice and red up there. Close to the light. Um, but yeah, I want to do more filming. Hey, now your eyes are open. You're not sleeping anymore. More filming, more videos, more everything. Ignore my dirty corner. I'm trying to clean that today. Um, but yeah, like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'm going to be coming at you with some more videos. So, I'm Drew, I'm that frog, I'm boiling right now, and we'll see you guys next time.